Okay, today we are going to be assembling the Drake Gilly boat blind. It's going to go on a 1754 XL. Okay, first thing it says is assemble all the parts on the ground. You can see that. There's all the parts. So we're going to assemble it on the ground or lay it out on the ground as it shows there and then we'll go to the next step. Have it out on the ground the way it says each piece. If you follow the instructions it'll tell you which one goes where. Uh, you got a channel in one side and the long and it goes across the back and the shorter channel which is that one goes across the front and then down each side okay once you have that laid out you have these things that will roll the fabric up and keep it from blowing when you're trailering it says place four evenly down each side of the boat you can see i've spaced it out there they are there's four on each side and then there's four left it says put two across each end so that's where we're going next all right i'm trying to put the blind together and it's fitting the geese fly over i hear a speckle belly in there I have measured the boat and basically this is the rear of the boat by the motor get my dog out of the way it says I measured the boat inside it's right at 65 inches so I have to space that in that U channel 65 inches I got more flying over two big bees of them And I got that power line in the way. There's a lot of them. The measurement on the back of the boat, the boat is 65 inches. It says subtract 8 inches from that and make that your width. Measure the front and subtract 4 inches. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I've got everything together as far as the frame and you have a bracket right here. Once you get your width set up, you got pins that hold that in. You center this between the two edges and there's one on both ends, that's for the cover top. So once you get it set to the width, you come back and adjust it to make sure that's centered. One on each end. I've got it set up with the top on. Basically, the top has that, and it just slides down in that bracket that we centered. And then you just measure the same measurements and put that other U channel up here and lock it in place with the pins. So there's what the mainframe looks like. Now I'm going to have to take it to the boat because this part right there will attach to the boat, and I'm going to use the T lock method and it has brackets for that so that'll be the next step okay the other thing is you have a spring get it out that spring will go from here to here and basically it says this piece has to be a minimum of 14 inches away to have enough tension to lock it in and i'm going to have to adjust that once i get it on the boat and see where it lines up but that's going to be real close and it's 14 on all four corners is where they set it up okay i just finished that just a minute ago and once again except going back the other way they must have gone out to feed somewhere apologize for the power lines You never argue about putting a blind together and what you're chasing keeps flying over your backyard. 
There's several hundred right there. Okay, I've managed to move to the shop, and there's my boat, the Mud Buddy XL 1754. I've got most of the frame on there. Uh, they give you these brackets right here, and that's how I chose to mount it, and that I'll have to tighten later. I'm gonna put something under there to keep from rubbing the paint, but anyway, they do not come with these bolts right there, and that is basically a carriage bolt that locks into that track. So I had to make a trip and get some bolts to bolt it on. So anyway, we got it bolted on all three corners. I ran into two issues. Uh, one, I had plenty of room here, you can see. But on the front of the boat, if you look on that side right there, that track is a whole lot lower to the boat. You can see that is about a finger width. And there's the track. So basically what I did is I put that bracket right here. Let me get one, I'll show you what I did. Here is the bracket. And you can see when you mount it on the front of the boat, it wouldn't go. I'll show you where. Basically that's how much room there is. So I put that piece in my bench vise and just compressed it. Okay, the other problem that I ran into is on this side of the boat, I have a trolling motor bracket. And I cannot use the T-lock. I could move it back, but it's too far away from the front. It says do not go beyond 24 inches, and I'd be well beyond 24 inches. So I got my trolling motor bracket out, and I've kind of, there's a mark. I don't know if you can see it right there. I've got marks where the bolt holes are going to be for my trolling motor and right there's where that needs to be. It's not going to be in the way so I'm just going to mount it. I'm going to take that loose and I'm going to bolt it to that. It's going to make it harder to take off in the spring when I start fishing but, but that's the only way I can do it and that's what I'm going to do now. One of the other issues, uh, if you look at that bracket right here, if you bolt that one, it sticks up in the air to get it flush. I did the same thing. I put it in my bench vise and bent it so that it's level. So there is a little bit of modifications, but a bench vise, using the bench vise, uh, I was able to get it where I needed it. That is attached. Uh, that, just there's right there, there's five Phillips head bolts holding that on and one square head screw. Pulled that off, I put washers on the back side. So it is mounted. There is the frame on the boat. And I'm fixing to put the, the no shadow netting or the frame for the no shadow netting on top. There you can see I have both frames up there. Here is the lower frame, and there's the upper frame. That flips back out of the way. You can see it pivots. Sorry, the garage door's in the way, but right there, the pivot. Right there, and you can flip it either way, depending on which side of the boat you want to hunt off of. So the frame is 100% attached. Now all I gotta do is come back and put all the netting on and the windscreen. So that's the next step. I am putting the wind blocker fabric on and it says start on the port side rear because this is the gate that opens for the mud motor. It'll swing across. So you start right there and basically it's just a Velcro loop and they're approximately a foot apart and you go all the way around the rail doing that. All of that is on. Uh, goes all the way around the boat. Here's the inside. As you can see, it's blacked out, so it'll be plenty of camo and plenty of wind block. There's a gap right here. That is the gate right there that opens and swings in. And that'll work out just fine. It's got snaps to snap it together, but that's probably where my dog's going to go in and out. So. I will put some grass on there to help conceal that. 
Next thing up is this right here. That is the no shadow top. It comes with the bag of zip ties and you zip tie it around the frame up there. And that's what I'm going to install now. Okay, this does have a direction to put it on there. Uh, this end is several feet wider than that end. And I'm sorry, the sun's coming through. But you can also tell uh, where you tie the grass on, they get narrower together as you get to that end. So front of the boat, back of the boat. There's the finished product with the no shadow top on. Uh, basically, you zip tie it to the top or tie wrap. And I'm gonna primarily hunt off of this side of the boat, the left side. So you, all the excess, you roll up and bunch it up on the back side. You can set it up either way. You can still hunt off of that side, but you got a bunch of fabric bunched up. I don't know if you can see that little bit right there, but you just roll it up on the bar, put that tie around it, zip it up, and then basically you want that piece hanging down just to cover. And then I'll come back at a later date and put all my grass on there to help conceal it. But there she is. I'm gonna get inside and look at it from there. Okay, there it is from the inside. Again, looking down. I'm sitting in my seat and that's approximately, that net is about six inches above my head, so just about the right, right height. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the wind, but that's why I'm not hunting today. It's blowing 30 plus out there. So I figured I'd get all this done. So anyway, that's the finished product. We'll come back at a later date using it and give a review of what I think it's like then. Still have a little bit of cleanup left to do on this, but the total time to put the blind together and get everything installed on the boat was right at three hours.